Hello everyone, now I will discuss question of neurology. Well, we are getting a two-year-old boy brought to you for the first time by his parent for a well visit. Family recently moved to the area and the child has not been seen for routine child care since the age of 12 months. That means after almost a one year gap is there. No complication occurred during pregnancy and the patient was born full term. At the age of four months, he was hypotonic. He did not sit unsupported unless the age of 10 months. Three months ago, the patient developed spasticity and dystonia with involuntary movement of the hand and the feet. Over the past month, he has started biting his finger and hand, pinching himself and banging the head against the wall. Family is, family is unremarkable about it. On examination, patient is non-verbal and hypertonic. There is hyperreflexia of upper and lower limb and extensor plantar reflexes bilaterally. That is, Babinski is positive in this case. Several new and healing abrasions are present on the finger and hand, which are following the most likely diagnosis in this patient. Well, answer this question is Leshnian syndrome. Well, why this answer? First of all, it is an X-linked recessive disorder. And it is caused by deficiency of the enzyme hypoxanthine guanine uh, phosphoribosyl transferase. And this enzyme is involved in purine metabolism. So definitely very obvious there will be some defect in the purine uh, synthesis or purine metabolism to be more precise. And we should remember that uric acid is a byproduct of purine metabolism. Okay, we'll move further. Now, this enzyme deficiency result in accumulation of hypoxanthine and uric acid in the urine, serum, and central nervous system. Well, uh, in the CNS also, because the uric acid levels are so high in this case. Now, development of dopaminergic pathway appears to be pertinent particularly affected and we know very well the dopaminergic pathway are specially involved in the development of Parkinson disease in the elderly person. We know very well that in case of Parkinson there is the pathway involved is nigrostital pathway. Where dopamine is the main neurotransmitter but that's the disease of the elderly person. But what I want to convey the message is it is again in this disease also this involvement of dopaminergic pathway that means we expect some finding which will resemble like Parkinson but again repeating second time this disease of the elderly person and, and the disease what we are talking about is the disease of the pediatric age group. Okay. So uh, the, now the progressive neuropsychiatric manifestation of the condition will happen in this. Presentation begins in early infancy, like in this case also, the problem started at the four or five months only, with delayed milestone and hypotonia. By the age of three years, the children develop extra pyramidal symptom of dystonia, chorea, as well as pyramidal symptom of spasticity and hyperreflexia. Again, something unique. Normally, we don't find that one patient having extra pyramidal feature as well as pyramidal feature both are there in same patient normally it's not a common thing to happen this again point to be noted and point to be noted spasticity and hyperreflexia are the feature of pyramidal uh, and dystonia and chorea can see as a extra pyramidal feature now one more a distinct feature of leshnian syndrome is self mutilation well, like in this patient also, the child is biting of the finger and hands, banging the head and limbs on the wall, as shown by this child also. And that's why we can see so many abrasions because of self-mutilation is a classical feature. In untreated case, later, later on, they have excess uric acid and can lead to gouty arthritis and obstructive nephropathy can develop in this patient because of a high amount of uric acid. 
Well, let's look into other choices. Autism spectrum disorder. They may present with impaired language development and social skill as well as self-injurious behavior the way this patient. But motor abnormality, dystonia and chorea are not the feature of autism spectrum disorder. Cerebral palsy is a non-progressive motor disorder that can present with dystonia, spasticity, Leshnyan syndrome may be incorrectly diagnosed as cerebral palsy by infant due to non-specific neurological finding. However, distinct feature is self-mutilation, which is a which is early in childhood makes cerebral palsy unlikely. Like in this case, although the child is banging the head on the wall, doing nail biting, etc., they are not the feature that we get in cerebral palsy. Phenylketonuria is caused by accumulation of phenylalanine present with the intellectual disability if untreated. Most cases are diagnosed on routine screening and presentation does not include self-mutilation. So now you can imagine self-mutilation is a such an important diagnostic tool for Leishnian syndrome. So whenever you are getting a pediatric patient with high uric acid and self-mutilation, think about Leishnian syndrome. Well, Rett syndrome is a neurodevelopmental disorder in girls characterized by normal development till age 6 months followed by regression of speech and motor function as well as development of stereotypic hand movement ringing movement, what they call as. But this is a disease in the female, but our patient is a boy who had delayed milestones, early infancy, who have self-mutilation behavior. The red syndrome is automatically ruled out in this patient. Well, little bit of golden line to remember. So what you all have to remember in Leshnian syndrome is, is a Eckling recessive disorder. Deficiency of hypoxanthine, guanine, phosphoribosyl transferase, hypoxanthine and uric acid accumulation occurs. The clinical features are delayed milestones and hypotonia in infancy. But in early childhood, intellectual disability, extra pyramidal features like dystonia, chorea, and pyramidal features like spasticity and hyperreflexia. Point to be noted in early infancy, it was hypotonia. Later on, hyperreflexia is coming. And this is something unique. We are getting in one patient, pyramidal and extrapyramidal feature. Both we are getting in same patient. Cell mutilation is the classical characteristic feature of this. And gouty arthritis can be a feature in late stages. Card so cell mutilation and gouty arthritis are the cardinal feature to diagnose Leshnian syndrome. Thank you very much.